Okay, we're here with the Swollen Pickle Mark II Jumbo Fuzz by Way Huge. This is an outrageously powerful fuzz box. A lot of fuzzes that you will find out there, you know, they give you fuzz, but it's not with this amount of power and tone shaping ability. Plus, there's also internal controls. If you want to kind of tame the pedal a bit and move in more to a traditional uh, style fuzz, you can definitely dial that in. So it's a very um, deep pedal. There's a lot you can do with it and a lot of ways that you can personalize it. So I'm going to be playing this through a 64 Vibrolux. It's a vintage amp with stock speakers. And I'm going to be playing my B3 Fire SL, which is basically a Les Paul. It's the same scale length with uh, Lawler humbuckers. And this is what it sounds like without the pedal on. <laughs> Turn this bad boy on. What you want to consider when you're using a pedal like this is if you incorrectly set these controls, you can do a couple of things. You can get lost, or you can also be too abrasive. And you have to decide, based on the context of whether you're using it in a recording or whether you're using it in a band setting, how you're going to set these controls. So the scoop, let's start with the scoop here. The scoop allows you to basically fade away into the background. And as you bring it back to the middle, it uh, brings the mids more present. And moving it to the left does what it says. It scoops out mids. So I would imagine if you were using that in a large band that had a lot of uh, bass going on, you'd get swallowed up. So I like to pretend I'm in a band and put it right about there. The crunch control adds buzz as you move towards the left. And as you move towards the right, it's it a little more robust. If you use pick squeals with your right hand, you can get almost like an Octavio effect. The filter... dark and woofy or really present and bright and obviously you can hit the front end of the amp a lot to create some distortion from the amp and I would turn down some of the actual fuzz in doing that it's a little a little more organic effect So, there's a lot of range with this pedal. And that was with a Les Paul style guitar, and now I'm gonna to switch to my Eric Johnson Strat, all stock, stock pickups. And you'll get to hear both through this pedal and that amp. And I'm gonna turn on this bad boy. So now I have to adjust it for this guitar. I definitely want more of this and more of that. Moving to the treble pickup. So 
So I wanted to scoop a little down to take some out some of the mids to give it that way huge sound. A little more sustain because this has weaker pickups. Let's see what happens when we turn the sustain up even more. Okay, so here we are inside the Swollen Pickle. I'm going to show you the internal controls and what they do to the sound. On the left side, side we have the clip control, which varies between smooth or an opened up kind of fuzz sound. And on the right, we have the voice control, which controls the intensity of the scoop control. These are basically the factory uh, settings at the moment. So if I take this right control, the voice, and I turn it all the way to the right. You can hear how it really smooths out the the uh, edges of the fuzz. And let's dial it back just a bit. In the right, the left control, the clip. Get a little more. So you can hear how it kind of mellows it out a bit. We'll put it back to where it was so you can hear the differences. Big and gnarly. Focused and smooth. And obviously, the controls on the other side react differently um, in, in, in addition to how these are set, so there's a lot of range. All right, that was the inside scoop on the Swollen Pickle Mark II Jumbo Fuzz by Way Huge.